What's up guys? Very special announcement today. We are gonna be doing... Wait, what? You're gonna wanna hear this. This is the big news. Strawberry Park. I heard it was like the best channel on YouTube right now. Mm -hmm. And then they have like a clothing empire where it's like the hottest clothes, but whatever. Strawberry Park is gonna be uploading a new video every single day in November and December. Every single day. To the new year. We're getting Strawberry Park content every single day. You are getting some of the most unfiltered reaction videos, a handful of vlogs. Wow. Do we know a time that they're gonna be uploaded? Yeah, let's, let's pick a certain time every day. Do you do it in the morning? That way everyone, when it comes lunchtime. Lunchtime or when you come home from school, you know there's a video to watch anyway. Maybe 10 a.m.? Yeah, I guess we're uploading every day, it doesn't matter. So we can upload in the morning because you know there's gonna be a new video on the page. Regardless yeah. of the time, there'll be a video that day. The Strawberry Park page is almost at 50K on Instagram. So See, we, no one even knows that we have an Instagram too. We're gonna start <laughs> posting on there as well. We're juggling a lot of plates currently. Because social media right now is crazy. There's like Instagram Reels and like who's using that. Then we got YouTube changing and then we have TikTok. It's like, we're trying to just, we're uploading every day on here, okay? So <laughs> just please. stay tuned and we might hop on Instagram, but just follow us, please. We figured, well, instead of throwing these away, let's give them to the people who are following the page. So right now, if you guys want to win any of this stuff, we're literally just going to send it out like a pair of swords. Uh, oh, the un untouched sweatpants, whatever, whatever. If you guys want any of these things, all you have to do is follow the Strawberry Park Instagram right here. Strawberry Park and DM us your size and that's pretty much it. And once the page hits 50K, we'll just start sending them out and start DMing you guys back and picking the winners. So it's pretty simple. And this is stuff that we didn't even drop. Like this was just a sample. Like, oh, we thought we were gonna do sweats, but we ended up doing the shorts. So no, those are the shorts. Wait, yeah, we didn't even drop these. The pants are hard though. We ended up doing shorts instead of the long. So no, these are 101. 101. Somebody gonna get these 101 pants. I wanna do these. Send your size, but we're not gonna have a lot of sizes, it's, but it's, still you might wanna grab. But there's still, there's a lot of people that could win something. Look, we even got the blue in the, the sweat. The blue ones. Like, come on now. Man, stop playing with me. We got a hoodie. This isn't even the Let's final version. Over here. These hoodies are still crazy to me. <laughs> <laughs> Should we include signed, what do you sign? Like a like a milk card or something? Oh, we can do that. Like a just sweet, sweeten the pot. Do you yeah. guys really not want to follow us? <laughs> it's just three <laughs> guys. All of this just for y'all to follow us? Come on, I thought we were cooler than that. <laughs> Noah, can we give away? <laughs> we'll give away the Rocky Balboa. Please follow. I'm posting random stories. Hey, I'm giving away <laughs> Noah's laptop. Um, just follow Strawberry Park. We're, we're almost at 60K. We can't <laughs> vlog anymore. We give away the vlogging camera. <laughs> <laughs> but we got 100k. Rob steals <laughs> Noah's debit card. Rob's like, yo, cash at me 250 bucks. I don't consult anyone. I, I'll reveal Noah's debit card information. I remove my finger from the CDD code. <laughs> Next slide, if it gets 10 screenshots. <laughs> but also, in the, the coming, what, months, weeks, whatever, we're gonna be having so many incredible clothing drops on the Strawberry Park. Some stuff's gonna be shipped instantly. We're gonna do like, the bulk inventory. Some stuff is gonna be one off, t-shirt here, shorts there, whatever. But we're really committed to building this. I don't know even know what you wanna call it. It's like, it's something that stands outside of us. Like. Exactly. When we see people come up to us on the street and they're, oh, I watched the videos of Strawberry Park, blah, 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 blah. It really has turned into this community and people say that. Some YouTubers, you guys are my family, my friends. They're capping. We actually mean it. Cause I really sit there and I just be talking to people when they come up to me and we just sit and have conversations. I'm like, damn, this is just so- like You really feel like you have a connection with the viewer, right? Like mm -hmm. I feel that too. Because people come up and then they mention certain videos and then we'll have a long conversation about a certain random topic. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, y'all are nicer to me than like people that have known me for years. Like I went to Horror Nights the other day and some guy just saw me from the line and he's like, bro, Rob, gave me a handshake. I really love the videos. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm a big fan. That's it, on some cool, just like, and that made me feel good. I was like, wow. And I've noticed it's almost every demographic of person. It's been middle schoolers, dads. And I'm like, yo, this is awesome. I think we're gonna expand beyond just clothing and we're gonna start doing- Accessories. Accessories, Christ knows what, folders, backpacks. Yeah, and and um, we're trying to make stuff that like- And think about it though, we're so fresh into this. We've only done two drops. Bro, think about having Supreme's first drop. Imagine that, imagine the value on that. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. Wait a second. I'm just saying, bro, this is our first drop. So follow the page now. Bro, imagine in 10 years from now when Strawberry Park is the biggest brand ever, you're gonna be like, damn. I should have followed them on Instagram and got the tea. I remember when Rob told me to follow and I didn't even follow him because I didn't even believe in him. Yeah, I just thought they were just gonna be some whack, right? And now it's on eBay reselling for 5,000. And now you walk into Zoomies and it's like, damn. 
Damn, I played myself. <laughs> <laughs> and see, we're trying to make stuff that is actually wearable and that's cool. And we're going through our trials and tribulations. Like, of course, the, the print <laughs> on here, we're like, okay, we're not gonna use this anymore. The sizing on certain things, we're like, okay, we're gonna improve it for the next drop. So we're really actually not just slapping something on a shirt and calling it a day. We are actively innovating, coming up with things that are sleek and simple coming up with some, a few loud pieces. It's a whole melting pot of all different types of things that anybody can wear, whether you're a light green orb. I mean, my gender, I see myself as like a green orb in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> whether you identify as a green goblin. How would you describe yourself? Um, gender queer goblin. Stop I don't right really now. Know. Or you're a 50 year old man, or you're in a third grader, it doesn't matter. We want to make stuff for everybody. That's my mission statement. We're for everybody, are we? Are we though? I've even gotten comments from girls, make the shorts for panels so that girls can wear them too. I said, damn it, okay. Yeah, because we also got to think about things that we wouldn't necessarily wear. Mm -hmm. Whoever resonates with our message and resonates with uh, our way, our comedy, our worldview, whatever, hey, you're you're welcome here. We are friendly, nice guys. Nice to meet you. And this is how you can support us. Great to meet you. <laughs> and also watch Strawberry Park because we're dropping every single damn day. This had me thinking. I was watching Mr. Beast content and Mr. Beast interviews and stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to spend 50 hours in the overnight <laughs> igloo. I don't want to build the world's biggest fucking dildo. And I thought to myself, we have garnered our family here who also appreciates what we care about as well. We like having conversations about fun stuff. We like fashion. We like shooting the shit, hanging out. And I think we've cultivated a large group of people who also have that same interest. And it's just nice to see. Yeah, we're very authentic over here. We, we definitely just... have pride in that for sure because we mm -hmm. even from the get go were like, we just kind of stayed in the apartment and just talked. And... Mm -hmm. And slowly started getting people like, wait a minute, I like what they said about this, or I like this guy, what, what he said. To, to foster a fan base or people that follow you and really care about you, I feel like that's so, so hard, especially in this YouTube age. Especially when we have no big budget videos ever. We literally have the same camera that we've been using. It's literally us three. And you're trying to figure out like, oh, the clothing's not working, no, let's do this. We've added more people to the team behind the scenes who help us with this stuff, but you guys are actively in the journey with us currently. This isn't a huge corporation necessarily, yet we're growing. Mm. We're constantly thinking of ways to grow and scale and mm -hmm. do things differently and also improve. I'm glad that we were able to do it through true authenticity. That's that was my that's my statement, I gotta say. Like there's not enough case study of like all these Mr. Beast copycats, <laughs> like clones. Clones, like after, what is your retention after five years of doing those types of videos, I don't know. You're almost competing against the other Mr. Beast. How are you gonna top what they did? Bro, I'm not competing, I'm not competing with them. But then I look and I, I see can't. all these channels getting dummy views. They all get the views, so it's like, is it just a fad? Is that where YouTube's heading? I don't know. I sleep well at night knowing that even if the reaction video or the vlog, whatever, doesn't blow up super viral, there's somebody out there watching that that actually gains actual benefit from the video. I like when people watch the videos and they wanna see the more, more vlogs. I'm like, damn, they just wanna hear us doing this. No, I definitely like how within all the noise and all the whole big party that everyone's in, we have a private little room and we're still able to Mm -hmm. If you want to breathe over here. Yeah, just... exactly. Like if I was a new viewer and I came to Strawberry Park not to toot our own horn, I'd be like, <laughs> wow, this channel is so unique and different and they offer things that a lot of these channels aren't offering. Mm -hmm. I agree. I completely agree. It is raw, uncut. You're not putting on a facade right now, are you? I think so. Are we? Well, I know this is usually how, how we are. Is there another trio doing it like this? Sidemen? Don't they just do Tinder in real life 20 times? <laughs> I don't know, I never watched a Sidemen video. I don't know. There was a kid that came up to me in the park one day. He said, I watch Sidemen. I said, oh cool, I don't. <laughs> but I don't know what they do, they're just British, I guess. Don't they just play video games? I don't play video games. I'm so sorry, guys. I do not play any video games. Noah doesn't play video games. Thoughts on video games? As long as it's used as a outlet where you're unplugging and just relaxing for such and such time, go for it, but like, don't be waking up every day just to do that. Like, if you got off work, you had a long day, you just ate dinner, hey, turn your brain off, do it. But then again, people that are became gamers and they're multimillionaires. There's like Ninja, he probably had to sit in his room for 40 hours, but not everybody can be Ninja. <laughs> what percentage of gamers are Ninja? Not that many. And there's also a percentage of people that play just as long as he does. And they need to get like a wake up check and like go actually do stuff. I'm the worst person to ask because like, I don't care, but that's different. Like it's equivalent to uh, if I want to go on a run for an hour, people don't want to go do that. I hate to sound mean to the video gamers. I was in an Uber, I got picked up. I said, yeah, for Ryan, he looked at me. He gave me this look like this, like, He's looking at me, he said, 
Rhino from Love and Surf, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he knew me, whatever. I'm sitting there. He's like, yeah, man, I've been watching all the videos, blah, blah, blah. So he was a big supporter. And I was asking him, oh, what do you do, blah, blah, blah. He's gonna be mad that I'm shitting on him, but I'm just trying to keep it a buck. He was like, yeah, I play Pokemon Go. I was like, that's dope, like, tell me about it. So he was telling me all about Pokemon Go and stuff. And I empathize with him where some people are into running, some people are into Pokemon Go. Rob's into the Red Sox. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> I don't even know one player. <laughs> I was about to say, and your favorite player is. Um, I asked him more about it. I said, "You so you spend money on that, or like what?" I, yeah, I've been spending money on. Po and to be fair, I didn't know Pokemon Go was still a thing. I'm not in the gaming community. He told me he spends a lot of time doing it. He, like when he's not driving for Uber, he said he's playing Pokemon Go, and he also plays Fortnite. And I had a conversation with my friend after this. I said, "Yeah, he was talking all about his Pokemon Go. I didn't even know it was still a thing." And it made me realize that sometimes companies do things to like hack your human psychology to keep you in the game and like feeling like if I don't open my phone and check out where the Pokemon are, fuck, I'm going to miss out. While it is fun and I and you can absolutely do that, there comes a point where, "Hey, you have to like come back into the real world where the human psychology aspect of like humans want to accomplish things. You feel good when you do something and get an accomplishment from it. When you go to school and you get a degree, when you get an interview and you get your job, whatever. You build something and you create a house. When you're doing, you're collecting the Pokemon and you add them, but it's not real and it's just on your phone. So you get this false sense of accomplishment that you really did something, but really, once you turn the phone off, you actually didn't do anything in your real life and these were all just pixels on your phone. So I didn't say that to him. Yeah. I let him enjoy his Pokemon thing. But I thought about it, I said, I don't think I'll get into video games for that reason. You know your own limits to anything. Yes. Every company is trying to get you to eat more of Oreos, play more games. You can eat, 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 and then stop eating because you're full. When you're in the game, sometimes you'll be tuned in and before you know it, you're playing all day. That's the issue. Like, mm -hmm. people don't know how to find their limits. A whole bunch of different games serve different purposes. But yeah, when you're on there and you're- Spending now, money. You're spending money to get skins and to do things that don't actually hold any value. Are you playing video games to become a pro gamer like Ninja? Like every other kid? I feel like gaming right now is the hardest thing to get into. You have to be good. There's people who are playing every single second, but it doesn't matter if you're good at the games. If you got tits. So if you don't have that, because you've got to be really good. I went through periods where I played Call of Duty for like every day. I don't play it anymore really. Like even like last year, I played it a few times here and there. When I was streaming, I, was, I would play. You played it all through middle school. When did you stop? I probably stopped sometime in high school. And what do you think made you stop? Got into different things, interests. The real world, maybe? The real world. The but real there's something about like, if somebody thinks they're skillful at something, they won't stop. They're gonna keep doing it. If you lose, you wanna play it again, try to win. And then before you know it, you become good and then you wanna keep playing the game. With YouTube, th that is probably my video games. Oh yeah. I will sit there and watch random ass videos about random shit on this pixelated phone, thinking I'm getting, oh wow, I'm learning stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really garnering a lot of information. And then I go to the next video, and then the next video. And before you know it, it's been six hours, and I've done nothing. And same yeah. could be said about self-help books. You'll read three or four of them like, oh, I know how to change my life, but you didn't do anything <laughs> to change life. You know what to do, but you didn't do it. It's like, yeah, reading, fi watching fitness videos, <laughs> Athlean X on fucking YouTube, and you don't actually go to the gym. People should set up their lives, me as well. You have to have isolated times for fun, isolated times for work, times for exercise, times for just calm. If you don't have these pillars of life balanced out, you're gonna tip over, right? Yeah, and you would be the only one that would be able to see that in your own life mm -hmm. and like, okay, let me only play for 30 minutes or whatever and not play for hours and hours and not get anything done and not be productive, then that's when the problem comes. And it's easy to get carried away because like, what's, what's more fun? Video games or trying to go get a job? My question would be for the adults, make sure you're being wise with your time. But if you're a kid, just let them have at it. Because when you're 10, what else can they really be doing? No, you can't yeah. get a job. Right. You can only hang out with friends game. outside for so long. Yeah, um, I, I think if you're a kid and you have no responsibilities, it's like, yeah, it's just like go to daycare, play your game. The more people I meet, the young people, they don't know how to actually interact in person. So I played GameCube growing up, but I also played GameCube in person with other friends. I did that too, we'd yeah. We'd play for a little bit, and then we would also play outside. Yeah. Now it's, you're by yourself, in your room, hop on the fucking thing, and you're playing with someone from across the thing, blah, 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 blah. eat your dinner, mom, dinner's ready, okay, uh, how about the game again? You actually didn't interact with anyone. Again, these are all notes to solve. I'm not even trying to preach to other people. You never see the, the repercussions of your negative actions until like, 
months or years down the line. So like, if you don't talk yeah. to people every day for a year, well, it doesn't matter, I play video games, whatever. And then you go out trying to talk to someone and you're a fucking weirdo. It's the compound effect. Yeah. Or you go to your family dinner and you don't even know how to talk to your own family. Yeah. And you don't even know that you don't know how to talk. Yeah, that reminds me, I just seen a video on TikTok, you know the trend where the high schoolers will go up to a guy who will be like, who's the hottest girl in school? Uh -huh. <laughs> she went up to some guy that was sitting down, he said, who's the hottest girl in school? He said, I don't know, I don't affiliate with girls, I'm a gamer. <laughs> so just like you said, you already affiliate yourself with, oh yeah, I don't talk to people, I, I, I'm a gamer, I do gaming only. It's something about video games specifically. People can have bad vice, they can be alcoholics. They can be any number of things. You can watch YouTube videos all day. You could watch too many movies. You can binge TV and Netflix and be a Netflix addict. Um, everyone has their different poison, but I think it was specifically gaming has a as an extra knob of like that shit will hook you. Yeah. Which is why so many people love video games. You have to be able to detach. You mm -hmm. have to be able to take have that moment to take a step back and be like, okay, wait, these hours of me playing this game is not really doing anything for me, <laughs> and I should probably use my time more wisely. But I'm just gonna play the game again. That's how it is. And it's easier said than done to unplug, but you only got one life. What other choice do you have? Like, you gotta fix your shit before it get before it gets you. Or what saying, if you're retired and you just wanna do that? Though? Because anyone who's retired means that they have a decent sum of money saved up, meaning they've already done their hard work and now they can really can just fuck around and chill. They probably wouldn't even play. They'd probably travel. They probably wouldn't play Pokemon Go. Yeah, but yeah, the Uber driver. And, Paying for the Pokemon Go is what, yeah. And yeah, it was, it was, uh, I was just looking at it like, hey, everyone has different interests. Like, I might even, you play video games, so uh, I don't like that. Not even that. It's just, you have to know, set some limits on yourself. Otherwise, if you do what's easy right now, the rest of your life's gonna be hard. If you do what's hard now, the rest of your life's gonna be easy. Mm. I'm gonna tweet that. Follow Strawberry Park on Instagram, DM us your size, and we'll pick people to win these. We got a lot of stuff. And get ready for the monsoon of uploads. We coming. Every day. Run it up. <laughs> Run it up. Like the video.